always had a great interest in astronomy. Since I was a little boy, uh, when I looked up to the night sky and I saw all those tiny white dots, I always asked myself, what are those dots? What are they made of? How did they get there? Um, I could not let go of these questions and my desire to answer them. And this desire, or this dream, to answer those questions uh, finally led me to what I am studying today, which is physics and astronomy. And, well, this is quite a hard science, um, but it gave me the answers I was looking for. I now know what those white dots are, I know what they're made of, and I know how they got there. But physics gave me even more. It told me where people come from, how the Earth was born, and what our origin is. And this knowledge really changed the way how I view other people, how I view the Earth, and perhaps most importantly, what I think of myself. And now that I know this, I think it's important that I share this with the world so that other people maybe can think about it and change the way they think about themselves. So right now, I'm going to tell you where you came from. But before I can tell you that, you first need to know what you are. So when you look at the mirror and you ask yourself, what am I made of? You might say, okay, well, I'm made of well, skin and bones and muscles. And well, that, that is made of cells, like skin cells and bone cells. And when you zoom into that a little bit, you come to uh, DNA, which you can now see in the picture behind me. And DNA really is the building block of life. So everything that lives, this includes people, but also animals and even plants, have DNA in them. And DNA also has building blocks. If you zoom into DNA, you come to the building blocks of everything, which is atoms. A everything is made out of atoms. So this includes DNA and life, but also the chair that you're sitting on uh, or my clothing. It's all, all everything that we, you can see around you is made of atoms. And you have all kinds of different types of atoms. You have light atoms like hydrogen or helium. You have heavier atoms like carbon and oxygen and really heavy atoms like iron or gold or silver or uranium. Um, and we know where these atoms come from. The lightest atoms, so hydrogen and helium, they come from the Big Bang, which is the beginning of the universe. So all the hydrogen in the world is almost 14 billion years old. And to see where the other atoms are made, we need to look at the inside of stars. So you can now see that we're traveling inside a star and something special happens there. A star in its core turns light atoms into heavier atoms. So it takes hydrogen and helium and it turns it into carbon and oxygen. And every star does this, also our sun. And it does this all of its life. It's called nuclear fusion. And it's really, it, it's the process that makes a star shine. Um, but stars do not live forever. Stars die, and when the heavy stars die, they explode. And when a star explodes, all the atoms that made up that star get blasted into space and it will form a big gas cloud. And all the atoms, the heavier atoms that the sun created, are now in this gas cloud. And this is not a rare process. This is not something that happens not very often. This happens all the time. If you now look behind me, you will see a galaxy. And in this galaxy, there are more than 100 billion stars. And each and every one of them is converting light elements into heavier elements. And the heavy ones will explode one day, and then they will turn into such gas clouds. And then you may think that it's not really uncommon that two of, the two of these gas clouds will collide. And when that happens, a new solar system is born. So a new solar system with a new star and new planets orbiting around that star. And we now know that our solar system, so our sun and all the planets around it, including the Earth, came from such gas clouds. So the Earth 
and everything on it came from the stars, including the people. And when you think about this for a while, you can only come to the conclusion that we all share the same origin. We all came from the stars. Our atoms, the atoms that make up my body and the atoms that make up your body, came from the stars. And this happened about five billion years ago. So your building blocks are already five billion years ago. But back then, they were something else. Right now, they make up you. And in a million or a billion years, yeah, well, we, we will all be long gone, but your atoms and my atoms will still be there, and there will be something else, like a tree or a piece of a mountain. And in this way, we are all connected to each other. So when you feel a bit alone in the year, and, and, and well, yeah, well, if you're quite lonely, sometimes we all do, and when you do that, think of the fact that we are all connected to each other through our building blocks. Our atoms were already <laughs> together once and will be in the future. And this is not religion or science, or, uh, sorry, this is not religion or something, or I'm not trying to make you believe this. This is science and physics that tells us this. So we are already connected to each other and we actually came from the stars and yeah, well, that's the message that I want to give you. If you feel lonely, just think of the fact that you are connected and that you are part of something bigger than yourself. Thank you. <laughs>